Okay, we're back again. Now, uh, one of the latest projects or jobs I'm working on is making a PLC trainer for one of our academics. And you can see the progress so far. Uh, here it is here. So we've got our input switches, two push button switches, four toggle switches, and we've got four outputs, positive and negative. Um, on the other side here, you can see uh, that actually comes out. And I've got hot glue in there uh, just to hold everything in place, to sort of lock everything in place. And this is the bottom part here. Now, one of the jobs I need to do is uh, actually, this is the bottom part here of the case. Now, the bottom part of that case doesn't actually line with the bottom part of that PLC. If I overlap the two, you can see that right there. I'll have to um, take that screensaver off. Um, so what I've got to do is I've got to design a little uh, base plate, offset base plate, and I'm going to print it out on our 3D printers. So I'm using SketchUp to, to get that started. Uh, initially, I've got the uh, dimension drawings from the supplier, which are here. And I've used a snippet, a snippet tool to uh, take an image, copy of just that uh, box outline. And then I have imported that into uh, SketchUp. So what I've done is I've file, import, and just import set as a JPEG image, and I've imported that uh, JPEG image. And what I did before I imported, I should add, is that I used my uh, tape measure tool to draw some grid lines. And the grid lines are spaced the same width and length as the overall box dimensions. So that when I import this image in, I simply click on one corner of the intersection of those lines, and drag to the other corner, and then that imported image is correctly scaled. Then what I plan to do is I will, oh, you can see what I've done as I started drawing some grid lines out using this image as a template, a very convenient template, by the way, uh, to get my uh, design uh, properly uh, dimensioned and fitting within that box. Uh, what my plan is here is to use these four mounting points on the inside, which I'll show you here, these four mounting points to mount my offset, which will push up against the PLC. I won't actually need to use any screws because it'll be pushing up there and it's locked in position uh, on the X and Y axes by fitting into this lid here. So it should work just fine. And that's an update. Keep everything short and sweet. Uh, keep you posted. Thanks very much.